so many people have asked me how I made this mask on YouTube I decided to go ahead and make a little bit of a tutorial on how to recreate it or how to make it the tough part is it looks like the mask has had a little bit of uh, trauma if you will I wanted to present it as a finished piece even though in other things it is a finished piece but I wanted to show this first and then show how you know the method and the path on how to get there something happened though when I was uh, kind of shipping it and moving it and doing a lot of things for it and with it and it just got badly damaged but this is gonna be good because this means I might actually go through the process of making it again and you can kind of see how I got to this point it's kind of wild kind of neat but uh but anyway I think you might enjoy it as you can tell it's not a great deal to it just basically a lot of a lot of hand sculpting a lot of work with it you know it's it's pretty cool though so let's get to recreating this mask shall we Well, first, what I did was I took a little uh, Crayola, Crayola Model Magic, the white, and uh, what I did was I, you know, basically took some of it out, rolled it flat, and when I rolled it flat, I laid it out, and it was just a nice cushiony type of uh, type of material. The thing is, when I used that material, it just it was too too foamy. I mean, here's here's the actual mask I made with it. And as you can tell, it was just so foamy to where it's the edges were too bubbly, too smooth. I couldn't get a lot of definition when I was trying to sculpt it and shape it. It was only coming out to be just really coarse. And look at that. That's just nasty looking. Well, at least to me. So I'm going to try to get the mouth shaped and lips shaped up. I mean, this actually, believe it or not, it looked a little bit better than this. But anyway, it's just not much better. And, and so I was trying to use this to shape... The mask and make the mask, and I was gonna, I was planning on painting it, but it just, I just, was just not satisfied with this. So what I did was, I went ahead and, and said, I'm gonna go get some Super Sculpey, which is uh, the stuff right here, some of the best stuff. I, don't know, I should, probably shouldn't advertise, but I'm, I'm advertising. I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for doing this, but anyway, this stuff is really great. It comes in a, a block like this. You can. Uh, separate it and then knead it and mold it into whatever you want to as a matter of fact I'm going to take some now and do that so I mean basically what I did was I took a whole a whole box of it kneaded it molded it molded it shaped it worked it out and I got like this rolling pin as you can see it gets kind of kind of like putty it's really nice and, uh, but the nice thing about this is that once you've shaped it into what you want, you take it to the oven, bake it for 15 minutes or so as the uh, instructions say, and once you bake it, it hardens into that mask. And when it's hardened, it's like, you know, it's just like a plastic, plastic toy, a plastic mask. Plastic anything you want it to be. And you can sculpt things into whatever. So I just basically took this Super Sculpey, flattened it out, was huge you know a huge piece of it I laid it over top of this mask like this and so it was as though this white mask here became a template for my larger mask and it was it was almost like it was all supposed to work that way but it was really just by chance so I laid this big huge piece of super sculpey all over top of this and then started shaping it and molding it and this was the base, so it was kind of helping to push up the different sections and help me form the shape of the mask, just automatically, just because this right here had already hardened in a little bit, because as you can tell, it hardened a little bit itself. It was still kind of soft and floppy, but once you take it out of the packaging and start to mold it, it starts to dry. It's got an air, it, does, it air dries on its own. So, so you shape this if you want to, make it into what you want, let it air dry, it'll get a little, little hardened, 
Then once you've got what you want as a main template or main type of uh, shape, then take your Super Sculpey out, flatten it out, lay it over top of your, your template or whatever. It's almost just like basic sculpting, you know, you, 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 you get a plan, you formulate it, you get a, uh, a kind of a stencil or you get some type of thing, you just start shaping it. If you look here, I'm just, I'm already shaping the, the, the mask again, you know, just by, by doing this. And uh, even people have asked me, it's like, how did you shape it like that? I mean, it's just a matter of using your hands, sculpting, sculpting it, looking at the image, you know, kind of using it as a reference, and then going from there. So you just kind of shape it in there, and you just got to keep on working it. But Super Sculpey is some great stuff. It's, it's, it's like clay that just keeps on working with you, you know, and it's, it's really nice. So then once you get that main thing down, you keep working the edges and working the edges, using your fingers to kind of kind of bring it in, sharpen it, just keep on sharpening it until you get a shape that you really want. And that's the beautiful part about Super Sculpey. It smooths itself out a lot when you just keep on working it, sliding it, and rubbing it, and forming it. So as you can see, it starts to form just, just, by, just like that. So that's basically it. Just keep on working with the stuff. And then once you've got that shape down, it, it starts to become exactly what you want it to be. It becomes, it starts to form the Q mask. And this is how I did it. I just kept working these edges, trying to get those edges in there, sharpening them with my fingers, getting to certain points. And then once you got it to a point, you just don't mess with it too much and then leave it alone, you see? Just keep on smoothing it, smoothing it out, you know. It took a while, but it'll get there. You just keep eyeing it, keep reworking it, keep reworking it. Because you can see that's it, and that's basically how a Q mask form, just like that. And as you can see, is when you see a little more detail, you can see it's not all perfect, but and even the paint's starting to come off of it. But as you can see, it starts to form like that. And that's how, it, that's how I did it. And you can even see here now, it's starting to take that same, same shape. I'll just spray it, you know, it, put some primer on it. Didn't really put any paint on it. The primer actually worked pretty well for me, so. Anyway. But that's it. Now, once I got that down, I actually kept the Super Sculpey on top of this Crayola Model Magic. The bad part is, Crayola Model, Model Magic was pretty good and sturdy relatively. But the Super Sculpey was really flimsy. I mean, you'll see it. It's, it's like really, really flimsy. But I, what I did was I took some aluminum foil, as you saw, put it in the oven, and started to bake it. Well, I didn't know Model Magic expands pretty much in the oven. If you look in here, you'll see all these, these air pockets, these air bubbles that started to form. Because it's, it's, as the Model Magic started to expand, the Super Sculpey started to contract. And it crack so it's because you got like two forces pushing against each other and pow the super sculpty broke into into uh, a couple pieces and that's the video is why I had to go back and super glue it and uh, why I kind of learned a really tough lesson you know the hard way but it was good and uh, so that was something I got to got to work with so anyway that's basically it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the super 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 sculpty here I'm going to flatten it out, and I just may make another mask, but I don't know if I'm going to use this or the other mask over there that is actually broken as a template. I probably should use the other mask, but of course I'm going to have to super glue, super glue it back together. Or I could just use this again, and just remember that this will actually expand in the oven. It's going to be a tough one, a tough call. Hopefully it's expanded as much as it needs to and it can hopefully withstand another stint in the oven. I'll check, check it out and see if it works and get back to you all later. You guys happy sculpting? Enjoy making your cosplay outfits. <laughs>